I was going through my YouTube comment and then I discovered this. Please, Mr. Paul, is it possible to connect Easy Worship to NDI and still connect it to live outputs like television or projector? I just hope you get my question. Yes, I fully well got your question. And here is a video to that on how you can be able to do this using the Easy Worship 7 software. I remember you cannot do this with Easy Worship 9. This can only be done using the Easy Worship 7 software. And here's a step by step guide on how you could be able to do this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, smash that subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell, and let's solve this problem together. easy worship 7 is up already the next thing that you're going to do go ahead and click on this edit button here at the top of the screen and go over to options this is going to give you some seconds for it to load now over here you're going to see the main output and the alternate output and what is the alternate output it's just used to create an alternative display for the easy worship 7 output so giving you to display so one can go to the projector and then the other one you can send it through the ndi source all right now on click on the alternate output here and make sure you click on this enable support for display um alternate output this particular one here see the button right there click it and that will enable the alternate output on your own easy worship 7 software now you can use your main output to send to your second monitor which is this one and then use the alternate output to send through the ndi source and whichever one you want to do is perfectly fine now to your question can i be able to send this one on full screen and then send the other one on lower third yes you can be able to do that send one on full screen and then send the other one on lower third here is the background that you should use it's default and it comes with any easy worship 7 or rather every easy worship 7 software you're going to click on ok click on the songs here and then go over to teams on the teams here just make sure you use any of the dark background okay any of the dark background is perfectly fine but if you use all those other background you'll see here it will be difficult for you to be able to remove that on obs but if you use a dark background it will be perfectly fine it will remove itself automatically all right so just right click on it and you see this set as default song theme here make sure it sticks and once you've done that this dark background will be used as a default song theme on the is worship 7 software so meaning the same dark background we use for the lower third and also for the full screen one go ahead and click on this edit button but again click on the options here and go over to the alternate output which is the one we want to send through the ndi source now go down to you see this default font here click on that and then from here scroll down to you see the alignment now on the text alignment click on it and then put it on center okay and then on the vertical align click on it and put it on bottom now this should shift the text from you know to the top to the bottom this is where you see where the text is now at the bottom let's go over to the main output again and click on default phone and make sure this one is on center and this one is on center remember what we did on the alternate output we put it on bottom but this one which is the main output we're going to leave it on center and once you are done with this the next thing that you're going to do is just to go ahead and click on ok here is how the song on the full screen look like let's also take a look at how the ndi one displays to as well to bring the ndi one up on the ubs software just go ahead and click on this add the button on the sources here select the ndi source here and then from here just click on ok click on this place select the alternate output here and then click on ok just pop this right bar and this is how the song is the split and that's why i said you should use a dark background because on obs is transparent while on the full screen it should be you know shown with a dark background so you can use a different background for that one and a different background for this one though on that particular one it should be a dark background on this one you can be able to tweak the background and add a custom background to the lower third but the full screen one will have to be a dark background which is not really bad at all depending on your you know what you want thank you very much and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you find it helpful see you on the next one and if you haven't subscribed smash that red subscribe button below because the additional link is also in the description of this video See you on the next one.